Well, let's get into sort of like what it means, what a good therapist is. Part of it may be, okay, so there are obviously lousy therapists. I will, I know that. I, I know that to be true. I've heard enough stories. I know that to be true that there are some, that as in any profession, right? There are just people who ought not be doing this work, people who ought not be doing this work right now, right? They're too burned out. They're struggling on their own. They, so that, that is true. I do want to name that a piece of it is sometimes therapists are deprived by their clients of the feedback they need in order to do their job better. Boom. Yeah, I just dropped that there. <laughs> so before you go and say you have a bad therapist, I want you to check in with yourself. Am I giving the therapist the feedback that they need in order to be a good therapist to me? If you're sitting on a pile of resentment because your therapist is telling you five minute long stories about their own life and you're pissed off about that, what's keeping you from telling your therapist that, talking about that? Your therapist needs your feedback. And so before you go and stick a crappy therapist label on that therapist's forehead, I want to invite you and challenge you to say, listen, I'm having a problem in our relationship. We've talked about, ther we've talked about feedback on this app before. So let's say you're my client and you bring me feedback or something that I'm doing in our relationship that you don't like. I'm not, I'm most likely not going to say, oh my gosh, okay, I'm just going to stop doing that. I'm most likely going to say, let's talk about that and let's try to suss out what's the you part of it and what's the me part of it. And I'm going to work very, very hard to take responsibility for my side of the street. I'm going to turn to my trusted colleagues and I'm going to say, hey, you guys, even though I may feel embarrassed because now I got to confess to my colleagues that I'm having a tricky dynamic with a client of mine, but I'm going to turn to my colleagues and I'm going to say, can you help me get clear on what's mine and what's my client's? So it doesn't, when, when you give feedback to your therapist, it doesn't mean that your therapist is going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'll stop doing that. Your therapist might push you a bit to say, let's sit with this because the way you are feeling about me right now likely has resonances and echoes to the way you feel in other relationships. So let's be thoughtful and let's go slowly, okay? But bring the feedback in and you can bring the feedback in as just sort of like a quandary, right? You can even... I mean, put it on me, right? Listen, I was watching Dr. Solomon's episode on the Mind app, and she was saying that if we as clients have an issue with what's going on in our therapy, we should bring it in. So even though I feel right now like I might throw up or I might cry and I got a little bit of sweat running down my face, I got something I want to talk to you about. It didn't feel good last week when you said X, Y, and Z. It doesn't work for me when you do A, B, and C, okay?